eyesight's not improving. Very simple two things that you might be doing wrong if your vision is not quote unquote improving. Welcome back. Headphones because I'm, I have I keep trying new setups and the audio from this mic I think sounds better but I like to hear it I like to hear it in my head. So let's talk about once and for all and I think I may have done this before but I can't be bothered to look through the video collection, which is my sight's not improving. Hmm, you want more face? My sight is not improving and I get this. Very rarely, of course, because how could it happen often? But I do get questions. I get it in the sport forum. It sometimes happens in the Facebook group, emails. People saying the eyesight's not improving. And there's usually the, the, there's either the, it must be your fault, your method, which of course is completely impossible. And sometimes people just think it doesn't work for them like it doesn't work for their eyes and that's that's not the case like if that's why i always say when you start this thing start with the biology understand ocular biology understand your eyeballs biology before you move any further so anything and everything that we talk about you can put it back in the perspective of how does this affect my biology that way you can troubleshoot more easily because you understand what you're working on my face doesn't really look this red i think it's just the I don't know. I don't know what those things. So, eyesight's not improving. Very simple two things that you might be doing wrong if your vision is not quote unquote improving. Really, your focal plane isn't changing in the direction that you want it to. Two things. Two things only. The first thing is too much close up. And people, you don't need to live in the woods, right? Like, I spend a lot of time close, more than I should, honestly, and you can get away with it, but you have to recognize when you get your focusing muscle locked up. And that's very easy to do. I made other videos about this, which, which, why does my skin look red? Honestly, I should not be doing videos ever. Uh, I made videos about this in the past on how to check ciliary spasm, look those up. I'm probably not going to bother link them below because I'm lazy, but they're there. Um, you need breaks. I mean, I, I don't work or I don't spend time up close more than three hours at any given point. That works for me. It doesn't necessarily work for everybody, even though it is kind of a common number. Then I need to get outside and I need to spend time looking in the distance. And you can very easily tell, more detail in another video, if a distant sign that was a challenge to see clearly, but you could see clearly before close-up, if you can no longer clear it up after close-up, your ciliary muscle is locked up. If you do that every day, if you do that and you don't resolve it every day, if you don't adjust your close-up habits, like if you read in the dark, if you play video games for five hours straight, if you're, if you're sitting in front of the computer for eight hours, artificial light, no good light, no breaks, you lock up your ciliary spasm and you don't do anything about it, you're not aware of it and you're not doing anything about it, your vision will not improve, right? Because your focusing muscle is locked up. That's what caused your myopia in the first place. That's what caused pseudomyopia. It's locked up. It locks up your lens in close-up mode. There's nothing you can do at that point except adjust your habits. Recognize when there's ciliary spasm and make tweaks to your close-up. Like I still spend a bazillion hours in close-up, but I also spend a lot more time taking walks outside than I used to before all this. I spend more time, like I ride motorbikes or depending on what city I'm in, I ride bicycles or I make more effort to, sp to see friends or I go to places that have outdoor sports. I adjusted a lot of my life. Something about the light. It's driving me nuts that my skin looks like I've been drinking. Mm. Which I haven't. It's like 11 in the morning. So, close up ciliary spasm. If you have it, your vision will not improve no matter what else you do. The second piece is what improves your eyesight is distance vision that you challenge. Distance vision active focus improves your eyesight. I read this stuff online where people like plus lens therapy, which I made videos about too. You'll find them somewhere in the channel. And just tricks trying to use close up vision to improve your eyesight. And I'm like, that's like trying to use pizza to lower your weight. I'm sure you could find some way to do it, but that's not really the right way, right? Like 
you're not taking enough of a step back and saying, why do I want my distance vision? Like, what is my distance vision good for? Like, why would I want to fix my distance vision with a bunch of close-up? Like, am I not spending enough time using my distance vision that it would make sense to use my distance vision to improve my distance vision? That whole internet contingent and plus lens therapy makes no sense. You need distance vision to improve your distance vision. People always try to find a shortcut. I'm the number one guy looking for shortcuts. The reason that end myopia is by far the biggest vision improvement site online at this point is because I am the shortcut guy, right? Like I have tried every single thing that I could think of and not just me, there's been thousands of people, like I always get students who are like, hey, I'm gonna try this. Less so today, more so in the past when we had things less figured out and I've always been a big fan of letting people try because it doesn't cost me anything, right? Like if you're gonna wander down this path and figure out if there's lines at the end of it or not, go ahead. So get more red up close. Here, get some more redness. Have some more redness. Um, so I was always cool with people trying other stuff. And so we've learned a lot about things that you can skip, things you don't need to do, ways to make it go faster. Not using distance vision is not one of them. D using distance vision to challenge your eyesight on a daily basis is a completely necessary ingredient. And if it's on a daily basis, then it's on a daily basis. Ideal scenario every day. But uh, another video we're going to talk about how you should maybe adjust parts of your life to get more distance vision. For this one, where we're talking about troubleshooting, it's just about if you're not getting outside, like if you're not spending an hour a day lo outside looking at distancing, if, if there's not one continuous hour in your whole 24-hour day, then, then yeah, probably your vision is not going to improve very efficiently. And consider too, because people tell me this, especially kids, and nothing against kids. I used to be a kid. Uh, that I can't find the time, you know, whatever. But then add up how much time you spend on Facebook, on YouTube, on looking at porn on the internet. Like, if any one of these things that are not really beneficial to your life, important to your life, adding anything to your life, you're spending more time on any of those things than actually just getting outside into the real world, then your eyesight's probably not going to improve. It's kind of ironic in a way, but if you want better distance vision, you need to use the better distance vision. Those are the two things. Those are the only two things on a really big picture perspective. Now there's a million other mistakes you can make. You can, you can reduce excessively, right? But if you understand the biology, if you understand what stimulus is, then you realize, and I've made videos about this too, is you only want to reduce enough to where you get a blur horizon. Right? Some people don't reduce often enough. Like right? they, they, they hit a plateau where they're improving, improving, and then they're no longer improving. It's like mm, you need to reduce your correction. Right? Like there are a million other little tweaks you need to make, but the two big things are that that I see most commonly is people are not getting outside, and people are spending so much time in close up that their cilia muscle lock gets locked up, and then n nothing else you do is going to matter. Like those two things in the majority of cases sort things out, right? Some people need more help, some people need tweaks. Like in some cases, these two things aren't everything, but in general, if you're watching this, and if I maybe sent you this link and I told you watch this video, most likely you need to look at your close up. Do you have ciliary spasm? If that distance sign isn't as clear as it was in the beginning of the day, then your ciliary muscles are locked up and you're not able to get improvements from there. And if you're not spending an hour outside, ideally more than an hour, then you're not getting enough stimulus. You can fix those two things, you don't have to fix them today, you can fix them over time, you can fix them gradually, but your vision improving, your focal plane changing in the direction you want is not a question of genetics, it's not a question of luck, it's not a question of my genius method not working, it's simply a function of do you have too much strain? and you not get enough stimulus. That's it. This is it. And if you love this video, which some people will not, and my red face, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm planning on doing videos slightly more frequently. I have a lot of catching up of videos for back to 2020, which hasn't been getting videos much at all. And generally, like answering some of these questions. So subscribe to the channel if you want more of these. And I'll see you in the next one.